Hello guys, in the previous video we covered the fundamentals of an application load balancer. I also showed you how you can connect your domain name with the application load balancer. So this is the result we achieved. So if I open my website mohyuddin.com which we connected with the load balancer. This is the domain name we connected with the load balancer. So you can see I am getting response from both of my servers. So when I first opened the website, I got response from my server one, which says this is a demo server. And if I refresh it, this time you can see I'm getting a response from my second server. Okay, guys. And one more thing, if you notice here, guys, my website is says it's not secure and it is only accessible using the HTTP protocol. And if I type HTTPS, you can see guys my website is not accessible at all okay guys so in this video i will show you how we can uh, deploy an ssl certificate on our load balancer so that our website can be accessible using the https protocol so let's get started first of all guys let's generate a free ssl certificate using the aws service acm which is aws certificate manager let me go there Click on request a certificate. Yes, request a public certificate. Click on next. Let's type our domain name, which is mohyuddin.com. Add another name to this certificate. So I want to use the same certificate for all of my subdomains. So for that, I would type static, which means which is a wildcard, which indicates that uh, I could put in any name here as subdomain.mohyuddin.com. Validation method should be DNS and it let's click on request. Okay guys, so as you can see it is says pending validation. So for that guys, what we would have to do, we would have to add this record, add a CNAME record in our domain name. Okay, so now let me just open route 53. So my DNS records are being managed by route 53. So I will add the DNS record here. So now guys, let's create a record and don't be confused guys. It is saying that we have two domains and it may seem like we would have to add two uh, CNAME records. But if you actually take a look at the records, we would just have to add one CNAME record guys. Okay. So let me show you what I we would have to do. So here, in the record name let me just copy this one paste it here and let's remove this guys you see at the end it says again says mohyuddin.com so let me just remove that and only keep it to this cb okay this dot mohyuddin.com should be removed from here let's select c name and in the value let's select this value okay guys both of these are same both of these are same okay and please do not remove this dot at the end okay so now let's click on create records okay guys so now it would take just a few seconds for the record to be created okay guys so you can see the status has been changed to issued now now let's go back to our application load balancer So now let's go to listeners. So you can see guys, it is by default right now listening on port 80, which is HTTP, but we want to listen him on port HTT on port 443, which is HTTPS by default. So for that, I would select add listener protocol HTTPS. Yes, default action forward. And now let's select the target group, demo group. The security policy, we would select this one, 2020 from ACM. Yes, we generated our certificate using the AWS ACM, which is AWS certificate, Amazon certificate manager service. Okay, so we can have an, an AWS, uh, the certificate from IAM and also we can import our own certificate, which you can purchase from GoDaddy or 
wherever you want to purchase from okay so for now i will select acm yes this is a certificate i will select now let's click on add okay guys so right now if i go to https mohayuddin.com so you can see guys it is perfectly working fine that's it for this video guys i hope you guys really enjoyed the video if you did please make sure to smash the like button comment on the video and subscribe to the channel